new season, new manager, and new opportunities. The boys are already deep into pre-season preparation. Enzo Maresca has had no summer holidays as he's getting ready to make sure his preparations were perfect on his first day at our football club. The players, the manager and the club will know this. Next season is the season we need to start meeting goals. And Maresca will want to prove exactly why he is the perfect man and acquisition for this job and will use pre-season to kickstart his tactics and ideas for his first 11. With Maresca wanting a Swiss Army Knife team next season, we're set to see some pretty interesting uses of players. So, I'm here to tell you the five players you must watch out for this preseason 24-25. I hope you guys enjoy the video today. Hit that like button if you're pumped and gassed for what new season opportunities can bring. Sit back, relax, and let me get one announcement out of the way first. Today marked the launch of our new 24-25 home kit range. And yes, I know, this new range is pretty controversial and has created mixed responses. Myself, I like the design. I like the bold prints, but I know it's not for everyone. But my friends, if you are someone that likes this kit, make sure you don't waste this opportunity to secure your kit now before it sells out. And if you'd like to help the channel, use my affiliate links below in the description and the top comment. And don't forget to use Nini10 at checkout to get 10% off your final overall order. So I hope you guys get yours in time and let's get straight into the video. The first player on this list is a fitting one as all eyes are set to be on our new Chelsea recruit in Renato Vega. He is still an unknown quantity. His signing surprised us all. Within 39 career league appearances spanning the Bundesliga and the Swiss League, he now finds himself at our football club and it does feel like he has jumped the gun to get to playing at this level. Why is Renato Vega a player? You must watch this preseason. Well, he was hired to act as Maresca's new inverted fullback in his system. And his responsibilities will include moving laterally to create a makeshift back three, moving to defend in the wide areas as a left back, as well as inverting into the pivot in midfield to form that midfield too. In this position, he will be tasked to distribute the ball, protect us defensively, as well as making underlapping and overlapping runs to support players in the final third. At 190 centimeters, 6'3", the guy is an absolute powerhouse and kind of looks like a Viltra man. He had a 62% aerial duel success rate and was second for overall duels in the Swiss league last season. His signing could add much needed height and physicality to this team. Renato Vega describes himself as a smart and aggressive player who feels like he has a complete game due to his versatility across positions in defense and midfield. Make sure you guys watch out for his long range passes because he is not afraid to play that direct pass over the top and to push his team forward. Having additional quality like this in deeper positions could help Maresca's system as we're able to isolate the wingers and wide positions by using Vega's passing range to ping the balls in these areas to make these 1v1 situations for them. At 20 years old, Vega is showing a personality and resilience at a very young age. Things weren't perfect for him at Augsburg. He learned a lot of lessons, but he went back to the Swiss league, played for an underperforming FC Basel team and showed that he was the star player. He's still young, and still inexperienced. He will make those rash decisions. His positioning may be poor at times. His temperament may cost him. He may give away silly fouls. But Vega wasn't signed because he's the complete package right now. He's signed because he's that project player and they feel like he may become that leading figure in his position that could really elevate the rest of the system. However, with Kukurea coming off an incredible Euro 2024 campaign. With Ben Chilwell still earning respect and on big wages as well, things won't be easy for Renato Vega to force himself in the first team. And this will determine whether he is part of the first team squad or is sent out on loan for the following season. Can the big man surprise all of us in this year's preseason? Our captain in Reese James is the next player you must watch out for this preseason. Now the question in all our minds is, how is Enzo Maresca set to use Reese James? Could Reese play the inverted role? Could he move back to playing in a back three, playing as a wide centre back? Or could he also play as that marauding, offensive fullback 
that we've known him for over the past few seasons. For myself, I'm expecting Maresca to tinker with how he uses Bruce James, similar to what we saw Pochettino do with Nkunku in last year's preseason. Now, the past two years have not been easy for Rhys James. Injuries ruined his opportunities to become part of the national team squad at this year's Euros. And it's not hard to think to yourself, imagine if Rhys James was playing fullback at the Euros. Could he have made that difference against Nico Williams and given England an extra advantage in the tournament? Time will tell, but let's hope that he comes back fit and strong for the World Cup. After suffering breakdown after breakdown, picking up a ridiculous amount of injuries involving his knee and many, many hamstrings, we got the tiniest, tiniest glimpse of a new look post-surgery Reese James. However, in typical fashion, he is now suspended for the next three games after picking up a very silly red card against Brian. Still, how Reese James is used will show us exactly how Maresca plans on using his right backs for next season. How Reese James plays also will determine how Malo Gusto will play under Enzo Maresca. And this is why Reese James is a player you need to watch out for this preseason. After two years of picking up inconsistent minutes plagued by injuries, Reese James will feel hungry now to take advantage of this preseason. He's feeling fitter, he's looking leaner, his confidence is back, and Reese James is an incredibly well rounded, versatile player that can play in midfield, play on the right side of a back three, and play as a fullback and a wingback. And I'm sure Enzo Maresca will be relishing working with Reese James and using him in different positions. I can envision an inverted Reese James showing off his passing range, having more opportunities to test the goal from outside the box, as well as producing those underlapping and overlapping runs which will allow him to get into the final third. But then ultimately, Reese James' best qualities have been coming down the right flank, where his assists and goal scoring threats have won us countless games. So Maresca's use of Reese James could determine how successful our season could become and this is why Reese James is a player you must watch out for this preseason. After signing for us for £58 million, Romeo Lavia never got to showcase his talents last season. He was once someone that we tried to bid £50 million for in the very same summer window in which Southampton signed him for Man City. We eventually though completed an epic transfer battle last summer against Liverpool to finally get our hands on the midfield player that we have wanted now for two summers. Now a new season brings new opportunities as Romeo Lavia has finally returned back from injury. He is ready to play and he will be raring the opportunity now to impress his former coach at Man City and Enzo Maresca. Maresca is the manager that he made history with at Man City as they were the first youth team to win the PL2 title. He then won it consecutively twice in a row and under Enzo Maresca at Man City's PL2 team, Lavia would act as that link between defence and midfield. He would be valuable and important playing through the first lines and he combined to make a midfield three that involved Cole Palmer and James McAtee. You'd imagine that Lavia is set to maintain that same role now, now that he has the chance to work under Enzo Maresca again. And having worked with him attentively, it should give him the confidence now to showcase his talents after missing out on a whole year of football. I think that Maresca and Lavia have a pretty impressive relationship because Lavia won Man City's Young Player of the Year awards after working under Enzo. He then shot with Lavia praising Maresca for helping him improve his ability to pass through the lines. He said that Maresca helped him improve on his ability to receive in the half turn and this allowed him to see the game forward. It's no surprise that Lavia looked up to stars like Fernandinho and Busquets who played that same six holding position and with Lavia's composure on the ball, his press resistance, the intelligence of which he uses the ball and can also dictate play as well, Lavia could become that perfect Enzo Maresca project. The kids had a reputation in Europe now for four or five years as one of the most promising players in his position. Man City only reluctantly had to sell the player because his ambitions were too much for them and he wanted to instantly play first team football. Lavia has always had that potential to become one of the best players in his position in the world and you think that working under Maresca again could be that perfect blessing and opportunity that Lavia needs now to finally start pushing on. After missing the entirety of last season, 
it was easy to see why certain Chelsea fans were starting to forget about Wesley Fofana and his ability, but after grueling work and dedication to come back fit, Fofana finds himself fully fit in time for the start of this summer's preseason. And you can bet any amount of money this guy wants to make up for all that lost time. He will use this preseason as the opportunity to impress Enzo Maresca. He has additional competition now in Cole, Badia Shill, and new signings like Adara Bioyo. Once upon a time, when he first signed for us, this move was supposed to secure his national team place with the French team. However, he's seen his former teammate at Saint Etienne in Saliba, now going to become a star and a leading figure in that national team. And Fofana will think to himself, I am more than good enough to make sure I become France's number one centre-back because that's the type of potential that Wesley Fofana has always had. With Maresca's use of a back four in his 4-3-3 system, this system shifts to using a back three and Fofana will feel like he can play his absolute best football and he is then shifted to play as that right-sided centre-back. And that's because Wesley Fofana is one of the best ball-carrying centre-backs in this whole league. The stats prove this. In the 22-23 season, he ranked in the 98th percentiles for successful take-ons. He then ranked in the 97th percentiles for progressive carries, doing at least 2.11 per game. And it's easy to see why, because Fofana is so composed under pressure. He uses Cruyff turns, he uses quick exits, body shifts to keep the ball and beat the press. And when he sees space open up in front of him, he is not afraid to carry that ball into the opposition's half, breaking lines and progressing us single-handedly up that field. With Maresca's insistence of using overloads to break down the opposition's structure, it will be even more important now that defenders have the technical capacity and quality to know when to time the use of their overloads and I think Wesley Fofana can have a lot of fun playing under Enzo Maresca. It helps that Fofana can defend the lateral spaces. This is important when the fullback is pushing forward. It helps that he has tons of recovery pace and it helps that he's phenomenal in the air. However, Fofana is not the finished article. It's a shame he's missed out on the equivalent of two seasons of football because he could have used those seasons to refine his game. In the 22-23 season, he had one of the worst defensive performances against Vinny Jr. After picking up an early yellow card, his flaws started to come to light and they're more mental. He lost the confidence. He was out of the game mentally and when he's in those positions, he makes mistakes. However, on the other hand, one of the best defensive performances came when he absolutely pocketed the nuance and handful in Dara Nunes, easily single-handedly winning that encounter. And that game showed exactly what Fofana can do at his very best. So, make sure you guys aren't sleeping on Wesley this summer. Another player you must watch out for this preseason is none other than Keenan Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall was the best player at Leicester City last season. He was key to Maresca's tactics. And yet again, it continues the cycle of Maresca taking a player and then taking his game to that next level. Throughout his career before Maresca, Keenan Dewsbury Hall played in a variety of midfield positions, playing as a six, as an eight, and playing as a 10 at times too, without really starring. He had to make up for the lack of a set position by showing extreme energy and work rate. And at one point in the Premier League, he had run the most kilometers in a game compared to anyone. But things changed for him when Enzo Maresca came into his life and he told Keenan, you are set to become my offensive eight. And after that, the rest was history. This new position allowed Dewsbury Hall the license to carry the team up the field with his surging runs. He was allowed to operate in higher positions in the opponent's half where he was allowed to showcase his versatility. And this same versatility now seems to be setting his career up on a different level. In this new role, he was regularly making overlapping runs to the wide left, whipping in dangerous crosses with his left foot. But on top of that, Maresca demanded more. And he told Dewsbury at the start of that season, I want to see you score more goals. I want to see your goal threat. You're a player I believe in that can make the difference. And Dewsbury Hall did not disappoint, racking up 12 goals 
14 assists, they were a combination of late arrivals, ending moves and the occasional blaster outside the books. Still though, it's going to be a massive step up in his career as he's set to compete against a higher caliber of player. It's up to Deuce Hall now to showcase why exactly he deserves to be here, but he will feel confident that after having experience working under Maresca, he may have an advantage currently over anyone else. Dewsbury Hall has the potential to be one of the surprise packages of this season and if things can go to plan, not only will he find success here, but he may finally become an England regular. Things won't be easy here, but Dewsbury Hall will have all the confidence in the world as he will know himself he is ready for this challenge. So my friends, that is the end of today's video. These are the five players to pay attention towards this summer preseason. Do you agree with my list or not? Let me know in the comment section and let me know your five players you're keeping an eye on during this summer. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Show us some love. Hit that like button if you want to see more content like this. And my friends, on that note, I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lions TV. See you all soon this preseason. Cool.